The world is at a turning point. In recent decades, animal populations have plummeted by some 60%. Temperatures are rising and we see an increase in devastating storms and flooding. These changes are due to human activity. Governments around the world are currently discussing a number of actions to reduce carbon emissions and boost climate resilience at COP26 in Glasgow. This is progress. But there is one angle too often overlooked. Criminals are earning billions while aggravating this environmental disaster. They are making up to 280 billion US dollars each year from environmental crimes such as illegal logging, illegal mining and waste trafficking. It's often the same criminal gangs involved in crimes like drug smuggling and gun trafficking, which are destroying the environment. It is within our collective power to stop it, and this should be easily agreeable among all countries. However, at the moment, very few governments regularly follow the dirty money behind environmental crimes. We need that to change. The Financial Action Task Force, the FATF, is the international institution leading on anti-money laundering. We are working to raise awareness to follow the money from environmental crimes. We recently finished the first global study on how criminals are laundering money from forestry crime, illegal mining and waste trafficking. We are also working with authorities to give them the tools they need to detect cases. But in order to make a difference, we need more countries to prioritize this issue. I call on all governments to help us take the money out of environmental crime. By stopping money laundering, we can help save our environment and protect our planet.